Well, it's here. It's January in England. We have entered the cold times, the dark times, the wet times. Yes, it is the beginning of at least three months of almost unending rain. And I know sometimes when you are in a situation where you have to dress practically, it can be a little bit difficult to feel fashionable while doing so. And as a girl who is originally from San Diego, California, where the weather is like this, it has been a journey over the last few years to feel fashionable in Devon, England, where the weather is like this. <laughs> So today I'm going to show you how I maintain a vintage inspired style in the rain and we'll go from a light mist all the way to a heavy rain. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to be starting with how to maintain a vintage style during a light mist. Now this is something that we get a lot of down here in Devon. It's not really heavy droplets. It's not going to soak into your clothes or anything. I feel it the most on my hair and my face. If you watched my wet set versus foam set video, this is the kind of weather that I got caught in at the end of that video. In this weather, because like I said, the water is not really soaking into your clothes, I really focus more on protecting my head and face. And that is where these classic rain hoods come in handy. I can find examples of these definitely in the 50s, definitely in the 60s. Most recently, you can see an example of it in Netflix's The Queen's Gambit. And it is what it sounds like. It is a detachable hood that you can put on just to keep your head and face protected. These are great because they stick out a bit over your face, stopping water from falling directly on it. And it also goes down to your back. So it's easy to be tucked into a coat as well. And that'll really keep your makeup and hair protected. As you can see here in this example, I am styling this like I was out on a walk and that mist started to form. The thing that's great about these little hoods is they compact down very small so they're easy to store in your bag or a pocket just in case you get caught out there's a classic 1960s coat i got my rain hood and stay fashionable on my autumn winter walk or spring it's rain in england it's really year round Next, we are going over how to dress for a light rain. Now, this is where you have the most freedom in your style. You need to be protected just enough so that you're not physically getting wet, but the conditions aren't so intense that you need to rely super heavily on rain gear. In this instance, my main rain protection is an umbrella. For me, I don't recommend something that has a statement print or really bright colors. I want my outfit to be the focus most of the time, and I want my umbrella to just complement it. I have this very big and strong burgundy umbrella. I did have a really cute vintage umbrella once. It was brown, had a beautiful pearlescent molded handle, perfect size for one person, but tragically I left that somewhere and I've not seen it in months. So this burgundy one is what we're going with. As far as the rest of your outfit goes, I definitely recommend keeping your skirt at least to calf length, not much longer. You don't want your skirt getting caught in a ton of puddles. And as for footwear, in rain like this, you don't need to rely on wellies or anything like that. But I do recommend having a good pair of waxed leather shoes. You can keep them topped up with beeswax to help keep water repelling off of the shoes, but you still have more freedom in the styles that you're choosing. Next up is a medium rain. This is when it is properly raining, maybe a bit windy, and you're transitioning into actual rain wear attire. At this point, I ditch the umbrella. Why is that? Isn't an umbrella the best thing to keep you dry? No, not here in England. The wind past a light rain will turn your umbrella inside out, or we will be fighting it. 
It's more of a hassle. It's just not worth it. So instead, I rely on a shorter raincoat and a waxed hat. This is my waxed cotton hat here, and the rain really does repel off of this thing. This is a vintage piece, I believe, from the 80s. There's plenty, plenty out there on eBay, but a good brown hat can be easily styled, and because it has a nice wide brim, that rain will stay off of your hair and off of your face. Mine also has a cute little feather on it. And as far as raincoats go, for weather like this, I don't go for my full length raincoat. I still wanna feel a bit fashionable. So I have this one here, which is a vintage 80s with 1940s inspired rain aesthetics. This shape was pretty in style. With a raincoat like this, I find it's easy to style into more of a vintage explorer type vibe. This is when I also shift boots. Add a belt for style and you can explore your surroundings while a little bit trendy. <laughs> And now it's time for heavy duty rain. This is when it is properly raining, but you still wanna go out for your government allotted one exercise for the day, or you have to go out to the corner shop for some snack and you want to be fashionable while doing so. This is where a traditional 1950s rain Mac will come in handy. They come in a long length and a variety of colors, and it's a great way to get that dramatic 1950s glamorous look while still protecting yourself from the elements. The one that I have is by Elements Rainwear, and they have a lot of vintage inspired raincoats. So I definitely recommend if you want to spend a little bit more money to get something in a silhouette or a color that you're gonna feel comfortable and fashionable in. Mine is this beautiful bottle green. It's also semi-translucent which I love. By choosing some bold colors or bold prints, they will easily show through and give you a little bit more freedom in expression when you have to be covered up. Of course, they also make ones in plain colors and even more translucent than this, so you can have a, as much freedom or... No, I can't think of a way to finish that sentence. This is also when I go for a thicker boot with a thick sole to keep me away from puddles. It's wet out, there's likely wind. You gotta stay protected. <laughs> And last but not least, what do you do when it is really storming? Well, you're just gonna have to give up on being fashionable, pal. I hope you found this rainy day vintage guide helpful. It's taken me a few years, like I said, to really feel like I could develop a rainy day style, and now I have one for almost any occasion. <laughs> I would love to know if you have any challenges with dressing the way you want based on where you live. I know in San Diego, on the flip side, sometimes I would have an outfit in my little brain, but it'd be too darn hot to dress a certain way, and I had to work my way around that. So is there anything that you have to keep in mind when dressing where you live? And if so, what is it? Then how do you cope? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I upload new videos every Friday. I hope you have a great day wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!